seemingly double life. Neighbors shocked that a church leader a few doors down is now facing multiple murder charges in the worst way. We are breaking down the latest on the case of the Nassau County man behind bars allegedly killing his wife and two children. Leah Shields live now outside the jail. Leah, good morning. Lou, William Broyles is booked here in Nassau County Jail on no bond, so this is where he'll stay while his case continues. He'll be back in court in just a few weeks. Now, Nassau County Sheriff's Office says he has confessed to killing his family, but his identity, however, is really intertwined with his church. We've seen his mugshot, of course. We know him from this case, but he has been working at a church in Jacksonville for 23 years, and he was the director of music ministries there as well. William Broyles was an active member of the Hodges Boulevard Presbyterian Church in Jacksonville. The 57 year old served as the director of music ministries, according to the church. The church has declined to comment, but one neighbor shared his shock with my colleague Tristan Hardy. It's just hard to comprehend that something like that would happen to anybody anywhere. But in this neighborhood, this is a very quiet neighborhood. Nobody bothers nobody. Carl Milton says he would occasionally interact with Broyles, and neighbors said he would be seen walking his dogs. They described him as someone who kept to himself. Broyles is now in the hands of the judicial system, facing three counts of second-degree murder for the death of his wife, daughter, and son. The sheriff's office said they were shot to death in their home, and Broyles himself called 911, saying he committed a crime. The church has posted a statement on their website. I tweeted it out this morning at Leah Shields News. You can read more there. And they say there will be a vigil on Sunday at 5 p.m. to remember those lives taken from the family. In Nassau County, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.